Hi, I'm Krista with Daytona Yoga, and today I thought I would share with you a pranayama, a breath practice. It's just as important to learn and to practice breathing as it is to practice our postures. It's just another aspect of yoga, another limb, as they say, of yoga, and it's just as valuable and sometimes more so. We don't always have the strength or the flexibility to practice asanas, or sometimes if we're you know, recovering from an injury or a sickness, then the postures aren't available to us. But pranayama is almost always available. So I'd like to share with you today alternate nostril breathing, which is called Nadi Shodhana in Sanskrit. And it is intended to be a very harmonizing and balancing and cleansing breath. And it also has a pretty strong meditative quality to it. This breath is intended to be very quiet and passive. It is done through the nose. So sometimes if you are very congested or having some issues with the nose, it might be a little more challenging than others. Sometimes if you stick through with it, it'll work that out. Other times you may just need to leave it for another day. All that being said, as we go through this practice, if for some reason it doesn't feel good to you, if it's really a struggle, then you can always let it go. You can always come back to just a normal, natural breath. Nadi Shodhana is traditionally done with the right hand and folding down the first two fingers. Now, if that's uncomfortable for you, you can always adjust and use different fingers, but this is traditionally how it's done. And we take that hand and bring it across the body so that the palm is to the face. You use the fingers to close off the left nostril as you slowly inhale through the right. And then at the top of that breath, you switch. So the thumb is now closing off the right nostril as you exhale through the left. Then inhale through the left. And at the top of that breath, again, you switch, closing off the left nostril as you exhale through the right. And you continue to do this, always switching at the top of the breath. Again, it's intended to be very quiet, very passive, and slow, so don't feel like you need to rush it. Remember, for any reason it doesn't feel good, you could always let it go and just come back to a mindful, deep breath. So let's just practice a few rounds, just quietly, together, and see how it goes. Remember, if it doesn't feel good, let it go. If you feel more comfortable closing the eyes, you can do that, kind of really tapping into that meditative quality of the breath. Just see how it goes. this pranayama, Nadi Shodhana, I encourage you to let me know how it goes. You can like this video, you can share it with your friends, you can even leave a comment below, ask any questions that you have or leave any feedback after you've had a chance to practice. It really is something that's important to start incorporating into your yoga experience. Namaste.